In just a few days, the streets of Uptown Lexington will be a barbecue lover's paradise. It will look just like this, totally packed. <laughs> Thousands taking in the Lexington Barbecue Festival and everything it has to offer. Lots of crowds looking for a lot of yummy things to eat. Mm -hmm. The 38th annual festival is set to be bigger than ever, taking a two-year hiatus because of COVID-19. WFMY News 2's Amber Lake is live in Lexington with how Q brings in major cash for the city. After going without that extra revenue from the barbecue festival the past couple years, businesses right here along Main Street are more than ready for Saturday when thousands of people are going to flood this area right here. Now, some businesses say this is their busiest day of the year. The Lexington Visitor Center told me that the festival has an economic impact of about $9 million in local revenue, making it a huge deal for the city. This is kind of a comeback for us. Um, this is kind of what we're known for. People come from all over the world, really, to eat Lexington style barbecue. And so to have a day that celebrates Lexington style is really important to our community. And it's, it's our thing. It's what we're known for. With over 200,000 people expected to make their way out this Saturday, local vendors like Barbecue Center are preparing right now. Owner Michael Conrad says they participated in the festival all 38 years and are preparing over 2,500 pounds of barbecue for this Saturday. It's almost like Black Friday for the whole city. Everybody does a good business that day, brings everybody into town, buying things. It's just great. Now, with the aroma of barbecue in the air, I decided to snag my pig ears that I got from the Visitor Center earlier today. They said that even though this is just a one day event, the experience that that tourists enjoy encourages them to come back post festival. Now, the festival is this Saturday from 8 a.m. until 6 p.m. Make sure that you come out. It's free. But if you want to partake in the food, bring your wallet.